Hey everyone, it's Phil Naylor and congratulations. I'm sure you're all really excited about purchasing the most trusted tool for professional editing on the market. My goal in this video is to guide you through the initial activation so that you could start editing as soon as possible. Before we get started, please locate your activation card containing your new system ID and download code. We'll need this to get your activation ID. So if you're ready, let's do it. First, if you take a look at the activation card, you'll see a web address. Please proceed to avid.com slash activation card. You'll see a number of products. I'm going to choose Media Composer, but please note that the process is exactly the same for News Cutter. So I'll go ahead and choose Media Composer, and then you want to choose Download Now. If you already have a master account, simply log in, or you can create one. And once you've logged in, you'll be prompted to enter your download code. So please do that here, and then choose Download Now. Once your download code has been verified, you'll be brought to your products page, which contains activation IDs, serial numbers, and installers for all the products that you're entitled to. So please take record of the activation ID next to the Avid Editing application, along with your serial numbers, and then download the products that you have listed. Once you've downloaded the Avid Editing application, go ahead and install it. Once you install it, go ahead and give it a launch, and you'll be brought to this welcome screen. We want to choose Electronic Activation and then Continue. This will bring you to Avid License Control. You'll notice that there are a number of options that you can activate. We obviously want to choose the one that we've purchased and then click Activate next to it. I'm going to activate Media Composer Interplay Edition, but I also want to show you something. I'm going to go ahead and choose Activate 7.0. I have an internet connection, so I'll choose Continue. And then enter my system ID and activation code. I've gone ahead and put a system ID and activation code in, but I'm receiving this error. If you remember, I have Media Composer Interplay Edition, but I chose Media Composer 7.0. Basically what this is telling me that is I entered an activation ID for Media Composer Interplay Edition, so please select that when activating. I wanted to show you this in case you're not sure exactly which version you have. If you choose the wrong one, it will let you know. So back to Avid License Control, I'm going to choose Avid Media Composer Interplay Edition. I'm connected to the internet, so I'll choose Continue. And then enter my System ID, Activation ID, and then choose Activate. Once you choose Activate, you'll be prompted to register your software. We always recommend to do this now. Receiving support, if needed, is always much easier if you've already registered your software. So you can choose to do that now, which is recommended, or later. This is what Avid License Control should look like once you've successfully activated your software. You should see a green check mark next to the software, and then down below, successfully activated. Congratulations, now get editing.